Yeah, welcome back friends na wote ambao mnatazama Dr. Mary Lectures. Na leo tuendelee na swala pili la e, biology joint test katika kuangalia jinsi ya kujibu maswali ya advanced biology. Again as usual nitakuwa nasoma swali naenda kwenye marking guide na najaribu ku explain e, clearly au vile ambavyo litakiwa ujibu swali lako. So la pili A lo man one explain the endosymbiont theory for the origin of mitochondria and chloroplast and mention at least five similarities between chloroplast mitochondria and the prokaryotic cell. Remember for this question again swali na pati mbili inategemea na swali ulizo hili swali na pati mbili na swali la ku explain endosymbiont theory na kuna end ukishaona end maana yake ni swali nyingine inaanza mention at least five similarities between chloroplast mitochondria and prokaryotic cell kwanza kitu kama endosymbiont theory kimeelezwa kwenye bs uh, lakini understanding biology haijaandika endosymbiont theory but i hope also kwenye chanjo unaweza kuipanda endosymbiont theory sijawahi kufuatia vizuri lakini uh, that's what i can tell you now uh, coming to the marking guide swali la pili a endosymbiont theory naona endosymbiont theory endosymbiont theory au ngine anaita endosymbiotic lakini what does it summarize ina ina ina, ina summarize nini ina eh, summarize nini e endosymbiont theory endosymbiont theory state that some of the organelle in today's eukaryotic cell were once prokaryotic microbes which invaded an ancestral eukaryotic cell and entered into the successful mutualistic or symbiotic union with it manake ni kwamba some of the organelle baadhi ya organelle ambazo ziko sasa hivi katika eukaryotic cell is organelle zamani zilikuwa zinaishi kivyake eh, they were once prokaryotic microbes which invaded an ancestral eukaryotic cell manake waliingia kwenye eukaryotic cell ya zamani sana na wakafanya mutualistic au symbiotic union na hiyo cell na finally wakaanza kuishi na hiyo cell au mitochondria and chloroplast were a formerly symbiotic bacteria that invaded an ancestral eukaryotic cell and learned to live symbiotically with it unaona mitochondria pamoja na chloroplast is equal to none eh, they were formerly symbiotic bacteria ambao walinivadi an ancestral eukaryotic cell and learned to live symbiotically eh, with it. Kwa hiyo kifupi endosymbiont theory inazungumzia regarding the origin of mitochondria and chloroplast. Kwamba mitochondria were formerly uh, free living bacteria and chloroplast were formerly free living bacteria. An endosymbiont is, is an organism that lives symbiotically inside another organism as how chloroplast and mitochondria does. Thus, mitochondria were formerly aerobic bacteria and chloroplast were formerly photosynthetic bacteria. That's according to endosymbiont theory. So, the question to explain the endosymbiont theory uh, actually can just ends here simply because imesha state your theory na imesema kwamba uh, mitochondria were formerly what and chloroplast were formerly what? From there we are moving to part 2 of the question which is the similarities between chloroplast mitochondria and the prokaryotic cell. These similarities in most of the books hautaweza kuziona lakini is one among the questions ambazo huwa zinaweza kaulizwa kwenye mitihani. Kwanza ni presence of double membrane envelope with involutions from inner membrane. Presence of double membrane envelope kwanza kati ya chloroplast mitochondria pamoja na prokaryotic cell zote zina uh, double membrane kwa nje second all possess their own circular dna circular remember the word circular because eukaryotic cell they contain linear dna so circular dna in a prokaryotic cell chloroplast and mitochondria the word circular is very important from there they all both derived in from pre-existing cell or pre-existing organ Actually this is for the case of um, a, a chloroplast mitochondria and even prokaryotic cell wote yani kwa mfano chloroplast inaweza ku divide kutengeneza chloroplast mwingine kama zinahitajika bila division ya cell yani chloroplast can replicate itself without replication of the cell 
even in mitochondria can replicate itself because it has its own DNA which control its activities and its division on honor. So mitochondria they can divide or they can replicate and increase in number even without the division of the cell. So the number of the mitochondria within the cell can increase even if the number of cells themselves they are not increased. Tokapo, they all possess small seventh ribosomes. They all possess cytoplasm like matrix, katika clopas na stroma katika mitochondria tuna katika clopas na stroma katika mitochondria na matrix na prokaryotic cell ndo tuna cytoplasm. And they all produce ATP. Unaona bwana? They all produce ATP. Clopas produce ATP eh inavyokuwa ina trap light mitochondria katika um, respiration na prokaryotic cell katika eh, respiration pia ambayo inafanyika katika eh, membrane zinazoitwa mesosomes unaona that was eh, question number 2a roman 1 unaona question number 2a roman 1 now question number 2a roman 2 if mitochondria were to perform the role of chloroplast what modification would it require this question unaona ni swali ambalo utakuta vitabu vingi hawajaliandika lakini swali ishaito connect kabisa if mitochondria were to perform the role of corpus what modification would it require now remember kwamba kuna similarities kati ya hawa organelle yani corpus na mitochondria wanafanana lakini kuna vitu vina tofautiana that means hili swali linataka uchukue adaptation is a corpus uzingize kwa nani kwa mitochondria if corpus has certain adaptation ambazo hizi adaptation zinamfanya aweze kufanya kazi Zile adaptation sasa uzingize kwa mitochondria ili sasa mitochondria aweze kufanya kazi ya nani ya chloroplast. Sasa tuone majibu ya hili swali ambavo yanakuwa katika making guide. Adaptations of mitochondria to perform the functions of chloroplast. These are sometimes unaweza kusema kwamba ni modifications of mitochondria in order to perform the function of chloroplast. Naona The enzymes of Krebs cycle should be replaced by the enzymes of the duck reaction of proteins such as rubisco in C3 plants and pep carboxylase in C4 plants. Manaka hapa ni kwamba katika mitochondria Krebs cycle inafananishwa na nini na duck reaction ya kwenye proteins. Na kuna hizi similarities ambazo kama umesoma nutrition kwangu mimi kuna moja kati ya swali ambalo linasema kwamba eh, Hebu uelezee ni kwa nini Krebs cycle na duck reaction of Rothenesi they are reverse of each other elezea hilo swali kwamba kwa nini Krebs cycle and duck reaction of Rothenesi they are reverse of each other lakini unachoweza kuona hapa ni kwamba enzyme uh, process ambayo inakuwa catalyzed na enzyme katika mitochondria ni Krebs cycle yani glycolysis inatokea kwa cytoplasm maana Krebs cycle katika mitochondria ndio inayokuwa catalyzed na enzyme. Pamoja na kwamba electron transport chain nayo inakuwa catalyzed na enzymes eh, kama zile cytochrome oxidase lakini eh, the electron transport chain inafananishwa sana sana na eh, the ile light harvesting complex ambayo inakuwa ina electrons zinazo flow from photosystem moja kwenda kwenye photosystem nyingine. Kwa hiyo Uh, you must know the comparison between these two organelles kwamba katika mitochondria na chloroplast kuna vitu vinako vinafananishwa Krebs cycle kwenye mitochondria inafananishwa na duck reaction katika photosynthesis why it's because the Krebs cycle is catalyzed by enzyme and the duck reaction is catalyzed by the by the enzyme utofauti tu ulioko ni kwamba Krebs cycle inachukua large molecule inaivunja vunja kwenda kwenye carbon dioxide while the duck reaction takes carbon dioxide and convert it into the large molecule unaona bwana so the enzymes of the krebs cycle should be replaced by the enzyme of the duck reaction of photosynthesis such as rubisco and pep carboxylase lakini jambo la pili ni folding of the inner membrane ambazo inaitwa cristae should be replaced by the thylakoid membrane which is the site for the light reaction of photosynthesis kwa maana kwamba a folding of the inner membrane zile zinazoitwa cristae lazima ziondolewe the cristae should be removed and after being removed they should be replaced by the thylakoid membranes thylakoid membranes ambazo zinakuwa ziko katika eh, stroma ya chloroplast 
Yaani maana yake unaweza kuona hiyo comparison ilivyo eti unaweza kuona comparison hapo jinsi ambavyo tuna compare vitu. Kriste in mitochondria is the site for the electron transport chain. Unaona? Why did the thyroid membrane in chloroplasty they are site for the uh, photosystems photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 zimeshikwa na thyroid membrane and they are site for the light reaction of photosynthesis you see so light reaction of photosynthesis ambayo ina involve the movement of electron inafananishwa na electron transport chain ya kwenye mitochondria na ndio maana tunataka kile ambacho kilikuwa kinafanyika katika ina membrane of mitochondria unaona kifanywe na nani na thylakoid kwa lazima tuondoe zile ina membrane tuweke nini thylakoid that these are just modifications yani hapa sio kwamba lazima ili swali huo umeshawahi kulifanya hapa ni just experience and knowing how to compare. However, nishakwambia kwamba experience ya maswali inasaidia lakini bado experience, experience ya maswali na knowledge yako of cytology should be applied here. The third point that the cytoplasm like material in mitochondria which is matrix should be replaced by stroma which is the site for that reaction of photosynthesis. Again, this third point looks like similar to the first one because in the matrix of mitochondria it's where the krebs cycle takes place so this matrix of mitochondria it has a lot of materials such as ions enzymes and things like that which support the process of krebs cycle to take place unaona this should be replaced by stroma which contain other materials eh? and these materials they tend to support the dark reaction of thinness so matrix cytoplasm like material in mitochondria which is matrix should be replaced by stroma which is the site for the dark reaction of thinness then the fourth point it should be packed with light harvesting complex this is very important kwa nini kwa sababu mitochondria yenyewe haina uwezo wa trap sunlight haina uwezo wa trap light lakini the light harvesting complex light harvesting complex in chloroplast is the one which is responsible for trapping light energy and hence in asabisha the process of photosynthesis iweze kutokea so it should be packed with light harvesting complex containing photosynthetic pigment yani carotenoid chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b and photosystems for system 1 and for system 2 from there it should contain carbon dioxide acceptor molecule unaona mitochondria yenyewe ilikuwa haina muda wa ku accept nini carbon dioxide kwa sababu yenyewe inatengeneza carbon dioxide na yatoa so it should contain a carbon dioxide acceptor molecule such as ruby which is ribulose by phosphate in c3 plants and phosphoeno pyruvate in c4 plants unaona lakini pia the hydrogen carrier which is nadi in mitochondria should be replaced by nadi p yani hii nucleotide adenine nini nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide inatakiwa iongezewe phosphate iwe nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate which is the hydrogen carrier during photosynthesis unaona so any of the five point were required here and every point had a half max now uh twende swali linalofuata b question b observe the diagram below and answer the questions that follow you know then equal a very short question uh observe the diagram below and answer the question that follow kwanza angalia angalia tu mchoro angalia na angalia kinachotokea kuna a yule pale kuna b kuna c kuna c kuna d kuna e na kuna f lomani 1 what structures have been what structures have been in the diagram have been what structures have been anyway lakini hapa usually actually kuna nataka kuuliza kwamba eh, what structure ilikuwa iko illustrated au ilikuwa inaelezewa kwenye diagram unaona hilo ndio swali hivyo kwa nataka kuuliza lakini baada ya hapo swali linalofuatia kutoka hapo Loman 2 name the structures labeled a b c d a b c d name number 3 name the processes 
marked E and F. E ni endocytosis, F exocytosis. Structures A, B, C, D. Unaona? Alafu toka hapo. Name the contents present in the structure marked A, B, C, D. Content A ina nini, B ina nini, C ina nini, na D ina nini. <coughs> Number five, name the process shown by the structure marked D. Sasa, kwanza hili ujibu ili swala zimo unajua. Each kinacho elezewa hapa kwanzia A, B, C, ni nini. Unazo wakawana kwa mba hili diagram kiufupi, hapa unazo wakawana kinacho nyesho hapa ni cell. This is the cell. And what is shown here, it is simply lysosome. Kwa sababu, hii na kwenisha kabisa, this is the Golgi apparatus. Na kwenisha Golgi apparatus. Na ina kwenisha kwa mba there is something coming from this Golgi apparatus. And this something, when it comes from the Golgi apparatus, mle naenda kwa hili pari. Naona, hata kama hapa hakuna aro. Na hili mbaada ya hapa, ni kwa mba hii na yoto kwenye Golgi apparatus, Inaenda inaungana na kitu frani kicho kuwa taken by the process of endocytosis. That means this lysosome, uh, which is primary one, it join with the uh, material to be digested, forming the secondary lysosome. And from there it forms the tertiary lysosome uh, containing, I mean, from there, hii material yu kuwa engafli hapa inakuwa digested katika hii hapa di. Ikisha kuwa digested theni, waste product kiri kina chubakia, Kinatoka by the process of exocytosis. Now let's move to our marking guide so that we can see the answers of this question. Kwanza, kinacho onyesho katika hii diagram ni various types of lysosome. What is shown in this diagram is the various types of lysosome. Lakini structure A is the primary lysosome which contain only digestive enzyme. Structure A is the primary lysosome. Structure B is the digestive vacuole or secondary lysosome. Digestive vacuole or secondary lysosome. That means we have the types of lysosomes. Uh, structure C is the residual body. Structure C is called the residual body or residual lysosome. And structure D is the autophagic vacuole. Autophagic vacuole. Autophag ni the process yambayo uh, lysosome na kwenye ingaf. The one out organize. Yani Organize hizo zeka kama mitochondria ina zingaf na ina, ina zi digest. Ina ito nini? Out of a confound all the mitochondria and the other all the organelles within the cell. Unaona? Kwa hiyo, tuna vacuole is a type marimbali. Vacuole is a type marimbali kama mba mmeza kuona hapa. Lakini, uh, kuna processes. Process E na process F. Process E ni endocytosis. Na process F ni exocytosis or effagi. Exocytosis that means the removal of the material which were taken by endocytosis. While effagi manake ni bada kufanya autophagi. The autophagi kivakuli. Materials iso kwa digested it's a kwa absorbed within the cell. But material which are unnecessary they can be removed to the outside of the cell. Iyo ndo toka na ito effagi. Unawana. Number four ni kwamba kuna content gani kwenye A, B, C na D. Kwenye A kuna hydrolytic enzymes peke. Amna kitu kingine kwenye A. Kwa sabu hindi wa mitoku kwenye gorgi ya paratas. Kwa kwenye A kuna hydrolytic enzyme. Kwenye B tu antegemendi kuna food and digestive enzyme. Yani hydrolysis ambazo tako zeno digest. Kwenye C kuna indigestible matter. Manake baada ya kudigest ya patuna absorb zero zina stumika. Zitu zo baki do zina enda ziko kwenye C. Na kwenye D kuna worn out organs. Yani organs ambazo zimezeka. Ndo ziko kwenye nini? Kwenye D worn out organs. So this is the end of our discussion and question 2. Katika hii biology giant test. And still we have a summer long journey kwa sababu. Pepa ina maswali kama kumi hivi. Kumi kumi na moja hivi. Naona. Kwa hiyo in the coming session. Tutafanya discussion ya swala tatu. Tukimaliza mpema tutenda swala nene. Lakini tusipo maliza manake tutafanya tusala tatu Ili kuamba pia kufanya video isi wendevi sana Don't forget to comment anything which you have learned Lakini pia ni mikuambia katika pindi vitu wakona solve Nikimaliza tui paper nitaanza kusolve Paper za mzumbe, paper za iribol, paper za Sentimerizi mazinde, paper za feather Na paper nyingine zote ambazo Unaweza mkantumia Unaweza mkantumia 
nitakuwa na solve hii nimeanza nayo hii ni paper 1 nitakuwa na solve pia na paper 2 waendelea tu kufuatilia series utapata knowledge kubwa sana ya kujibu maswali ya biology so thank you and let's meet again another time